lovely jolly day, not. <laughs> Sorry to be the bearer of doom and gloom. We do have a few of those videos, I do know, but uh, like we've always said, we always give you a snapshot of what it's like here on the farm. It can't all be great, can it? Uh, so shortly uh, after daybreak, we went to let the goats out onto the, uh, at the into the compound to eat some of the leukina left over from yesterday. And um, I didn't notice until I came out that we were, we were a goat down. And unfortunately, um, Milky is a lovely goat, or was a lovely goat, passed during the night. I'm not exactly sure what's happened yet. Um, Tune's just about to, well, let me show you. To do the uh, autopsy. Uh, it could be that it's, it's air, I mean, it looks like that, but uh, nearly every goat goes like that. But, uh, once they've been passed a while, she's not long gone. We didn't hear anything last night. Uh, there's enough of that, you don't want to see too many dead animals for too long, do you? When a goat usually suffers from goat bloat, you can hear them from flipping miles away because uh, it's excruciating pain, obviously, for them. And uh, goats can't trump or burp, so you, you've got to sort of like try and start that process happening for them. Um, it, it could have been a snake. Uh, we've had that... Uh, two deaths on the farm from snake bites as far as the goat herd goes uh, one from scorpion but that was with a, a, a kid goat so uh, I think pretty much a, a goat milky size could have handled that uh, so yeah it's looking like goat bloat they did have a lot of food yesterday she does eat a lot um, but she's never suffered from bloat before so shit bag moment when we do get a goat pass um, like this where we haven't been using um, any medication that sort of thing they haven't been given the shots um, you know the meat's fine to 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 eat and to sell uh, anything out if they've had a shot within 28 days and we don't sell it or eat it ourselves so you might that way well, you can still you can still sell the meat yeah you can but it's uh it's pitiful price really for what 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 a female what a nanny goat is worth you know so um you know the average over two two kids per year if everything's going well um you know and one of those should be a girl and then she'll produce so it's 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 like a chain you know it's um it's ongoing and it, it increases it's like compound interest for goats so um yeah just to sell a, a girl for me is is pretty shit really never mind we will we will eat goat today and um, soon as soon as Toon's prepared the meat then um, they cut it all up then she's going to post it on the, the local Facebook group that we're members of and um, we should be able to get it shifted all right now this is sort of like prompted um, me to do this video and the, the footage that you're gonna see I uh, I recorded it quite some time ago um, and although it was very hard to um, record it at the time because emotions were running very, very high, <laughs> very, very, um, very, very down in the dumps we were, shall we say, uh, it didn't feel comfortable putting the video on. Uh, but we do sell quite a few goats these days, and um, not all to the to the meat trade, um, to other farmers as well. And there's a lot of people. Well, there's, a, there's a few people that um, are new to goat farming or looking to raise goats. We get a lot of questions about it in Thailand because uh, there's no doubt about it, the market is very stable for the meat price at the moment, 120 a kg. Um, uh, but we had an incident where someone uh, came to purchase some goats and suddenly realised that they know absolutely nothing about them. You know, and we've been doing it what. Um, over three years, I think three years now, just over three years, you know, and we're still learning loads, and we still get goats dying. It's part of the course, isn't it? So I thought, well, when we were entertaining the idea of um, starting to raise goats, um, everything's rose-tinted glasses, isn't it? Oh, you know, goat costs this much. Um, you can sell it for this much. It'll give you this many kids a year. 
uh, and it will eat all your weeds they basically eat for free um, so you, you tend to think of just the positives in new in, in new ventures don't we uh, unless you're a negative person then you think all the negatives so we tend not to have a a balanced view on um, these sorts of things well certainly some people do I'm probably more on the, the positive side of things um, you know and then try and take things on the chin when they don't work out so yeah we, we took this video and it's it's really aimed at people that um, are contemplating keeping livestock because I think if um, I'd watched a video of this ilk um, before we'd got goats we'd have definitely still got the goats don't get me wrong um, but it would have been a bit of an eye-opener on sort of the thing the sort of things that you you have to expect you know they come hand in hand with um, raising these amazing creatures so for those of you that find this sort of thing disturbing difficult to watch uh, this video in all likelihood is not the one for you to watch um, you're not gonna see goats getting ripped to pieces or anything like that it's nothing grotesque like that but, you know goats are in pain and and need to be put out of their misery and um, you know this is the sort of thing that that is very very real and um, you know if uh, if it's not your bag then don't put yourself through it it's bad enough us going through it but you know you've got a choice we, we we've made the choice early on to, to keep goats you've now got the choice to watch or, or don't watch okay then uh, for those of you who are going to continue watching big hugs well we're going to intentionally shock you today guys in this video it's going to be one of the most difficult videos that we've recorded um, and for the very very good reason um, we sell quite a few goats now to people that are getting into goat farming and um, prior to Tune and I getting into goat farming I think we would have been benefited from uh, we would have benefited from being shocked a little bit because when everything's new and rosy um, you only look at the good things don't you how cute goats are and uh, the potential earnings you may or may not get from from keeping goats and generally just what a joy it is to keep these amazing animals but unless you're going to be a farmer uh, that farms out stuff as in um, people helping out with your livestock taking care of them uh, nursing them when they're sick uh, selling them uh, helping with the births and heaven forbid when it's time to dispatch them unless you've got someone on site to do that for you or you're in a quite an enviable position uh, that you've got a local vet that can come out sometimes at a moment's notice uh, let's say you, you, a goat gets gouged and uh, their intestines are hanging out I know it's all a bit of a gore guys but these things have happened to us so unless you've got someone that can do that um, you need to be able to uh, step up to the plate why today's different is um, Toon's favourite goat PJ who um, made a, a brief appearance or two in the last video she's not pulled through she's she's got worse um, so I was going to dispatch her yesterday and uh, I'll probably get some stick for this or we will whatever um, it's a uh, Buddhist Buddha day yesterday and um, not allowed to take a life now I'm not Buddhist so my instant reaction well pain animal in pain um, has to be put out of its misery or should be uh, and then Toon surprised me she says but I'm gonna do do this this time right let's get the ram in the feeders some of you may well be thinking why are you messing around doing the food Toon's um, getting the uh, napier shreddings ready and I'm putting out the ram why aren't you just dispatching her now well she's in the house and all the other goats are in there so you don't want to be dispatching an animal in front of the other ones I'm in two minds um, on one side of things uh, 
I do want to and to do it. It might sound a bit sadistic. Um, on one on one hand, I'm pretty much uh, at full capacity for taking life. It does take its toll, guys. It does take its toll. Certainly after last year. Um, and secondly, I I think Toon should should experience this. Sounds terrible, doesn't it? You know, because. Once, once you've done it, things are never the same again. Well, it might be for some people, but I think for steaming up, I think for most of us, we're not. We're not the same people after that. Or, or it taps into something that you, you know, was at the back of your mind somewhere. You know, that, that wasn't really applicable to your day-to-day -day life. But once you start taking animals' lives, something does change in you. And I'm not saying that it's. It makes you harder. For some people, it would do. Um, some people, it makes them weaker. For me, I think it's, I think it's a bit of both. You know, you, you know what lies ahead. You can see the suffering. You know, you've got to do it. You, you ease them out. Um, but I, I still remember every thirty goats' lives that I've taken, and um, yeah, just does plough my mind. It's why some people have, have said in the past, well, you care too much for your animals. Maybe we do. But I don't think we could achieve what we've achieved if we didn't. You know, working through all the setbacks, all the challenges. You know, if you weren't all in on it, I, I, I don't think you could. I don't think you could do it. Unless, like I said, you were you were one of these farmers in the position where you you let other people, you know, do the dirty stuff for you, which isn't isn't me in tune, as you know. Um, now, on the flip side, the reason I don't want Tune to do it is um, I know how it affected me afterwards. It might not affect her the same. I don't know. Um, so previous to this, every single goat that I've had to dispatch, she's left me alone. She's just walked off. She goes, I can't deal with it. So uh, I was flying solo <laughs> every single time. You have to grow some bollocks then, I'll tell you. So, uh, yeah. It's at, and then it's afterwards that it hits you as well, like I say. So um, at the moment, that's PJ. Just can't can't wait for this to be over. All right, girl. I'll show you in a minute. Because I think you should see it if you're thinking about getting goats. And uh, yeah, she's tough as nails at the minute. I, I did say to her just before I came out with the camera. She didn't know I got the camera. I'll have to have a word with her. I'm not gonna not gonna video the dispatching guys, but I will show you PJ. Who knows how it's going to affect her afterwards today and and here on after. But um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Um, it's going to be a very interesting day or few days or weeks or, or the future. Um, I don't know. don't know. Right, let's finish getting the ram out. Well, just to make things even worse, it started raining again. It's been raining almost non-stop for two days now, uh, which means uh, the the goats have to be fed under under cover. So we've got feeders down this end. Uh, we, we've got other feeders the other end, which the napier is going to go into. Um, once Toon's done the napier, we'll let everyone out and um, we'll get PJ on her way. Hey, the rainy season in Thailand, eh? See where everything bone dry and brown, <laughs> where everything in a perpetual state of uh, moisture and uh, greenery. As nice as it looks, bloody hell. I never envisaged I'd spend half the year in my wellies out here. <laughs> never mind. Right, let's get back. I need to chat with Toon. I don't want her to come out here with a napier and then think, what the bloody hell is he doing with a 
camera on in my uh, hour of need. So, if she says yes, uh, I've got a feeling she's gonna, she's probably gonna dispatch her as probably uh, better than I have. Not as in quick and painless as possible, uh, but coping with it emotionally. Uh, although you, you may not realise Toon is very, very religious and uh, she puts a lot of faith in the power of prayer and um, I'm sure she'll be calling on everything she can summon for today, I know I, I certainly do every time. Uh, I don't know for sure, but it feels like I get help in my hour of need when uh, I fall over there, when I need it most. Too red for me. Hey, hey, Paul. I know, girl. I know. I know. She tried, didn't she, eh? We all tried. Hmm? We all tried, girl. That's my thumb. That's still my thumb. Come on, out you go. Jasmine, you as well. Come on, girl. Out, out, out. Out. For real. Go on. Well, I don't know if uh, Toon's managed it or not. She just sent me off. She wanted to do it all on her own, which is good, I think. And, uh, I don't know how long the prayers have taken, but uh, it's all quiet over there. All right, Brownie. It's so difficult to know what to do because um, we all deal with it differently, don't we? So um, I know personally, all I wanted was a big hug after the first go that I dispatched. Um, but Toon wasn't there, was she? <laughs> She'd done one. So, uh, she's a strong woman, as most of you know. We'll see how she, she copes with this. Come on, coffee. Get out of the rain, girl. Otherwise your hair goes all curly, doesn't it, eh? It's amazing, isn't it, how these... How some animals just know April. Although she's a lovely little girl, she very rarely comes up to you unless you've got bananas. Today, yeah, she knows somehow whether Toon's managed to do the deed or not. She's an amazing woman, never fails to surprise me and impress me. I'm lucky, and I really lucky.
Well, that didn't go as planned. So, as I came back from the goat house, I thought Toom was um, cutting the carcass up. She wasn't. She said she she couldn't she couldn't cut PJ's neck. So she was uh, kneeling on her windpipe. Most of you know how, how strong a goat's neck is. If you don't, it's bloody strong. So although it was having its desired effect, it was taking way too long. So stepped in and uh, offered my services. And um, yeah, another one. So she's in the catfish pond now. And uh, well, I say she now. Afterwards, it's, it's, I know it sounds barbaric, but it's just it's a piece of meat. But prior to that, Never ever ever get used to it. Toon said that's the last one I'm doing, and she's not going to do them. She said she's going to get someone to do it, but no, 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 no. There are goats, should be us. Right, we're going to stick the kettle on, and then we're going to give the uh, the vet a call, and. Um, See if we can get a, see if we're allowed to get a concoction made up. So we, anything like this in the future, we can give a shot. Someone did come up with a very good idea about this way back. Um, but I was almost all right with it. Um, but obviously not. Now it's all come back again. I thought this sort of thing was sort of like under control, but... Yeah, I think um, we'll see what he says. If we can, if we can get something made up by him, and then just I don't know, leave it in the fridge or something for, if and when needed, then um, the way to go. So uh, I'll put on the end of this video whether we get a yay or nay. Well, as you may have guessed, it's uh, it's raining again. Uh, such is the weather these days. Uh, I just got to go and check, make sure that uh, a couple of our young goats back on the island I can see a couple now they're not so, uh, they're quite small they squeeze out the gate onto the island uh, but they're sadly lacking the intelligence to get back on so we've got one soggy star she's looking at me from afar like save me I'm wet and cold so we'll go and pop her in all right a bit of an update for you uh, so we've been in touch with the vet uh, no problem about uh, a shot to uh, sort of like a euthanasia shot for the goats uh, bad news is uh, they don't let us mere mortals have it uh, obviously it's very dangerous stuff uh, but there's no problem them coming out to administer it the problem is the only one time that we've had the vet out we had to wait three days for him so it's just not viable it's not a viable option to us so it looked like um, <coughs> we're going to have to continue uh, the way we are going I can't see Toon being ever up for this side of things so if we want to continue keeping goats it'll have to be me well you've only got yourself to blame haven't you you can get into the brolly yeah come on you silly tart well that's what you get for sneaking out. Look, you've ruined your hair. Off you go then. Now you can't have my brolly. Right, they're all undercover, as they should have been. Yeah, so since since this morning it's it's given me time to actually process on uh, the whole situation in as far as you know dispatching of goats when needed and as far as emotions go it's raw it doesn't it doesn't get any easier the only thing that gets easier really is there's there isn't the unknown and that was one of the 
one of the worst things you know plucking up courage the first time round you know how how to do it um and, and what to expect as far as you know how, how the, the the goat would react when you you started doing what you need to do so that that's out the equation now so that has made it a little bit easier but as far as the feelings go um and the heartache i, I think it's just the same just the same uh, the other thing that has got easier is the aftermath um i have to say even after the first couple um once they're passed then you know it's it, it it's done and dusted it's a little bit different today because say pj she's she was one of the first well the first goat we ever chose to, to join us here on the farm so it's a little bit different for her um but yeah you, you i think we move on a lot lot quicker toon, toon said it's going to take a lot longer for her but as well as it being her goat um it's the first time that she's tried to dispatch a goat and um yeah so i think she might have a sleepless night or two ahead i'm still so proud of her you know even to attempt it um you know it's 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 a it's one of those things that people a lot of people have an opinion about but never been in the situation and um you, th you think you know what you're talking about and, and, and a lot of the time people do get it right um but until you experience it yourself you you really you're really guessing you, and you're just you're just quoting what you've heard from other people you know it's um i think certainly with small holdings where you've built up that relationship with your animals more than sort of like on a grand scale you know perhaps you've got i don't know a head of 500 cattle you know and uh, you've got people working for you then it's totally different but small holdings uh, farmsteads you know you, you you're living and breathing alongside these animals so it to me it, it, it's different and i and i don't know whether you get people that um are that hardened to it doing this sort of life because you you, you choose this life not, not not to make money you, you do it because you love it and um Personally, Toon and I can't help but falling in love with these animals. Um, and the pros still outweigh the cons as far as we're concerned. It will hurt till the last day that we uh, do goat farming, that's for sure. But, uh, well, if you're lucky enough to have visited us or you plan to visit us in the future, once you've met the herd, you, you, you know, you you tend to understand quite quickly you know uh, how how amazing these creatures are and uh, you know the sacrifices that we have to make to um to to keep it's almost like the honor of keeping these creatures <coughs> um that's that's the trade-off so uh i suppose uh, it's not really the same as a dog but i always used to think well if you've got a dog you know and it gives you 10 years of its life and it needs putting down you should be there you know when you take it to the vets and um see it through its last moments you know be with it and i, I think it's with the goats plenty of you have said oh it's a business and uh, you shouldn't get yourselves uh, attached and all that lot but so is it's much more than a business much much more and um if we were gonna have our business heads on, you know, purely purely business, then um, I don't think we'd be goat farmers. We'd be like IT gurus, wouldn't we? <laughs> but where's the fun in that? I, I was speaking to one uh, highly qualified gentleman that came to stay with us recently, and um, he was saying people just, they shy away, they hide away from their emotions these days, and they can't deal with you know downs you know uh tragedies hardships you know we, we seem to be living online these days and um can't deal with raw emotions but you can't get more raw than what we've been through today well i, I don't think 
and I think as humans we should be able to deal with that. Um, everyone deals with them differently, but but yeah, I mean if if you can't, then you look at something else, don't you? You grow go and grow eucalyptus or something like that. Well, I'll tell you what I have suffered from today, which I've not suffered for a long, long time, and that's a pounding headache. I don't suffer from headaches hardly ever. Last time I had a headache was um, about two months ago, two and a half months ago, when I had COVID. That was the worst headache I've ever had in my life for about a day and a half. Um, but apart from that, I think I've only ever had one headache since I've been living here on the farm. Yeah, and um, I'll put it down to just worry today, concerns about Toon. Um, but she's going to be all right. She's uh, tough as old boots, the old girl. Ups and downs, swings and roundabouts, that's farming. The old cliches. There is some truth in them, you know. <laughs> as much as I hate them. 